Hey guys, it's the Dr. Raider. Today, another video on Battlefield 2042. Are you just like me, frustrated sometimes how long it takes to unlock that single attachment that you want so badly for your newly unlocked gun? Say no more, I got you. With this easy trick, you'll be running and gunning in no time with your favorite loadout. Do keep in mind though, that this might be a little cheesy. A little cheesy? It's incredibly cheesy. But hey, you wanted results and you wanted them yesterday, so don't shoot the messenger and come with me my friend. Alright, so we're back in the main menu. We're gonna go to All Out Warfare. And we're gonna change the game mode to Solo and Co-op. I've already got it selected. We're gonna change the settings and we only wanna take the Kaleidoscope map. Alright, we're gonna click Done, select Game Mode. Then we're gonna start the game. And again, I'll see you in a little while. Alright, now that we're in the game. Uh, how I like to run it? I like to take Angel because he's got the uh, resupplier ammo, armor, loaded calling. And that's really handy if you're out of ammo, of course. Then just take the weapons that you want to level up. Uh, I like to take a proxy sensor. You can also take a smoke grenade or a frag grenade, whatever you like. Uh, a smoke grenade might get useful later on, but you'll see what I mean by that. And this is very important. Always take your insertion beacon because you're going to need it when we get to the final objective. Now, for capturing uh, the Alpha and Bravo sectors, don't worry about it, just do whatever you like. Uh, I use these two sectors to level up my vehicles or, well, anything I just enjoy at the moment. And I will see you back at the moment we capture, or we're going to capture, uh, the Charlie Point in the high-rise buildings. Alright, we have arrived at the Charlie sector. In this game mode it's only got one objective to take. So you need one of these elevators. It's on this side of the tower. The left side if you come in immediately. And we're gonna take it up. Now this is where that smoke grenade could have come in handy. You just throw it down and the fuckers won't see you. You just go prone inside the elevator so it's harder for the enemy to shoot you. I mean there's still bots but some of them have kind of an aimbot. So what you want to do, get out, jump down immediately. This is also the perfect place to drop down your spawn beacon or your insertion beacon. And then this is where the fun part start. There are two ways to do this. You can stand up on this little ledge and you can look over and shoot bad guys. Or the second one, lay underneath it. And you can shoot under them. Easy peasy. Alright, just two things you need to watch out for. Uh, on the top there you can see that there's only one of me and 14 enemy players. Yeah, sometimes your team gets a little bit enthusiastic and they want to try to get up there. The second, team that you, uh, second thing that you need to watch out for is this side of the, uh, of the tower. Uh, sometimes the AI wants to stand there and they will kill you but that's not a problem since we have an insertion beacon here and all right now that we're almost out of ammo that's why we brought angel Either drop an ammo pack, and if you want to resupply your grenades and stuff too, you can place down your ammo crate right here, and hopefully it'll, come on, drop down, like a glove, you can just resupply everything you need, alright, and it might end up looking something like this. And here we are, a little 300, maybe 400 kills later, it went quickly, and you wanted results. Is this how you need to play the game? Personally, I don't really think so. But hey, you wanted to unlock that attachment, and this is how you do it in the fastest way possible. 
If you enjoyed this video, a like is very much appreciated. And remember to subscribe for more Battlefield goodness in the future. I hope this video helped you a lot and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.